I have enjoyed sharing these old writings. However, I have looked forward to showing you the new pieces much more. Yes, I collect mushrooms. I do not want to get burned for writing that. I watched a small documentary that Tom Waits did about a man that was not talking about the works that he ever accomplished when he was a very young man. I see a lot of people that look like me and they are alive. They might be alive forever. A couple people recorded their image for all time. When I finally stopped examining the damp earth and heavy moss, there was a sound. It must have happened again. A clicking by my ear. Crouching low, I surveyed the damp forest. The heavy air. Wet, heavy air. The dew is heavy. The morning mist is heavy upon us. My stomach growls for the breaking of tonight's fast. Resting was not easy. A strong, cruel beast has been disturbing the dream world. The beast is near. There was a distraction further up in the forest. Another sound. Pursue the light. Pursue the moment. The moment will soon be gone. The next time the light visits you will be sleeping. Poison in the food you left at your camp and gathered. A sharp tooth in the throat. A animal in the forest has mauled the tall pine horribly. Bark is torn and it is charred at the exposed flesh from the aggressive acidic breath. A very large creature. To breathe with such veracity. The weight of the lungs are too much. I am quite concerned. Abandoning the mushroom hunt, I leap to the boughs and practice obfuscate. Are there any other nether remnants or details? How far is the beast? The skin of its antlers left bloody spear smears on the bark, where the blood had not been charred and smoked. The tree still shivered from the strike. The tree has been very preoccupied with its many visitors. The beast also tested its claws in the bark, like a large cat scratcher, of the, your couch in the living room. Even the curtain that once hung by the door is clawed. The beast, however, does not have a way out. The beast has been completely unglued and will stop for no one. Your sire, Ibiogic. In response to a solitary evening wandering by Taylin XO, in which was a message written, I don't fully understand this, but I found wooden mushrooms in the woods today and also something that looked like ram horns that were as big as... As big me as well, and it was made out of potato sacks and such also randomly in the woods. Just figured I would share that tidbit with you all. Which was a letter to me that was encouraged by an evening Darksider 01 presented. He took the Alliance to the movie theater. He left a mess. I am not going to take care of others' weakness, which encouraged my first discussion of disciplines with Ahab Drown. Ahab Drown. Auspects for sure. Celerity. Dame Mianen. Malpoi. Being able to look into the minds of an why dead creature and be able to see the last things they saw. Being able to use shadows to aid me. I responded to Ahab that very night, despite my preoccupations, I was quite enthralled by the idea that one of the members of the, in the Alliance cared at all. I immediately created a recorded scrying of me in the room and delivered it to him. I was in the study. The tables and readings were well illuminated, nothing taxed the vision, orderly and straight, a successful practice, however taxing it may be, I paused from writing my novel and turned to an empty mirror, a eternity, a pain of air. Yes, very good, Ahab. <clears throat> the light does cause me dismay. The light is very powerful, compulsive, and thirsty, more thirsty than any night or any shadow. Let that be 
your first of many lessons in the benefits of obfuscate. I am quite certain that your fascinations with another being's view is quite too personal. The practice of reading another's projects, as opposed to reading into what influenced them, is going to be one of my greatest concerns as I progress with your schooling. Hmm. Now we can discuss the Shadow Plane, because the Cappadocian certainly have allowed you sink <clears throat> Shuari. That is quite terrifying. Yet, those who are dead and strong carry quite positive energies. Now you can move forward with the progress of these individuals, or you can burden yourself with other people's misinterpretation of the conditions and circumstances of their existence. Their ability to see into the next room with benefit you because uh, there are several places to see. I wonder if you have visited Darksider to question him about the cinema incident. Or if you have visited the tree, your sire, I buy your drink. Please respond soon. I am quite fatigued. <clears throat> uh.